Okie dokie, I've got to wait on some shellac to dry, which won't take long, uh, but I figured I would talk about my leather apron, my shop apron that's been gathering a lot of comments on my recent videos. This is a custom leather apron made by Dragonfly Woodworking and Leather. Let me zoom in here. Dragonfly Woodworking and Leather. If you Google them, you'll find their Instagram and all that good stuff. Uh, check out their Instagram page because they show updates of the stuff that they're working on. Fantastic quality stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Patrick and Michelle, Dragonfly Woodworking and Leather. I, a long time ago, I used to wear an apron in the shop. And the reason for me wearing an apron wasn't to protect my clothes because I didn't care about my clothes back then. I kind of don't now. Um, it was mostly to keep commonly used items right next to me. You know, carpenters. Why do the carpenters wear tool belts? Because they don't want to spend time going back and forth getting different tools. They have all their tools right where they want it to be, right where they want those tools to be. I can't stand wearing a tool belt, pulls my pants down. I just don't like a tool belt. So uh, the next best thing is an apron. Uh, I recently, a few months ago, posted on Instagram if anybody had any recommendations for a custom shop apron, shop aprons that you really like. And there was a bunch of links. There are so many different options out there to choose from, but I wanted something that was, that was truly custom. You know, choosing between one or two different options that's fine. That may get the job done. But, you know, you take it a step further. Same thing with the tool wall. Why, why are tool walls so popular? Because you can put tools exactly where you want them to be. You have complete control of customization. And, and that's the whole concept of it. If not, if you just want one or two options, just build a row of shelves. And you have a couple options. That's fine. I wanted a tool wall. You put the tools exactly where you want them. Same concept with a apron. So... The reason I went with Dragonfly Woodworking and Leather is because theirs was the first one that I found that was truly 100% custom. Like, put stuff where you want it. And I emailed them first to just verify a few things, and that was the case. So I went ahead and purchased one online. And then they, what the process is, they sent me a canvas apron. And, you know, you put it on, you size everything the way you want it to be sized as far as the straps go. You take a couple measurements and then, uh, you know, roll up the bottom if you want this shorter or longer, whatever the case may be. And then we had a face-to-face -face video call online uh, with myself and both Patrick and Michelle. And we determined what doesn't and what does and doesn't work, why you would typically want to avoid this thing and why you typically would want to avoid that and why this is beneficial, blah, blah, blah. Basically, we figured out the tools that I wanted to keep with me at all times uh, and th then the placement. You literally just put the item onto the apron, the canvas apron, and trace around it with a pencil. pencil and then you have a perfect template for, for them to work off of. It's, it's just a brilliant concept. So, And she also sent me uh, a few leather samples for me to choose from so I could actually see these. And this is the one I chose, obviously. It is super soft, super comfortable. It never gets in the way as far as me bending over. Um, real quick, I know a couple people have asked me if these fall out if I bend over. No, because I don't bend my back that much. I, growing up, uh, not growing up, one of my first jobs out of high school uh, was basically lifting furniture all day at a furniture factory and you really learn how to lift the right way bending at your legs so I don't really bend over anyway but even so I tried to bend over after reading that comment to get stuff to fall out hasn't fallen out fallen out at all <coughs> excuse me so after I sent the canvas apron back to them uh, I think it was a couple weeks after that they got the whole thing done you know this is all custom cut stitched and then riveted uh it's just i mean a phenomenal job and there's options too so let me talk about what exactly i put on mine so on the top here i've got a pencil this is by the way the best mechanical pencil out there graph gear 0.5 millimeter i've had this since since i was in uh drafting school back in the day this is 2008-ish. Uh, anyway, awesome pencil, fantastic. It doesn't break the lead sitting in here, but these pockets are split too, so if you use a regular pencil and the pencil gets short, you can put the pe short pencil down there. Fantastic. This, and then one, ch uh, one of these uh, China markers. This is like a crayon waxy s substance, and I use a blue one for lighter woods, yellow one for darker woods, whatever project I'm working on. These two, 
See, see, all this stuff is stuff that I would use all the time that may not be seen in videos because you don't have to show every single second of marking this little line using the square here, uh, blah, 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 blah. So those two go here, and I've got a really small square, which I use all the time. This little guy is incredibly handy. A little machinist square. So these three, these three live up here, American flag riveted on, bonus touch there. And then she, I think this was laser burned and I've abused this. You know, these days, the older I get, my belly is a little bit sticking out, you know what I'm saying? So this is rubbed off on a lot of stuff and uh, it's holding up quite well. Let's see, oh, all the hardware, I think this is, he told me the number, but it's stainless steel, awesome hardware. The back side will spin around, so there's a crisscross, and then once you put it over your shoulders, there's this, this piece that goes around the back and clips onto this ring. So that's the hardware. It feels high quality stuff. I don't know metals, you know, blah, blah, blah. Down here, we have a, I've got my tape measure, and the tape measure spot is reinforced on the back side with some thicker stuff. And I've got my tape measure set, 12, 12 foot tape measure. I don't need anything longer than that here in the shop. I never measure anything longer than 12 feet. But I've got it tight enough to where I can leave it on my hip and measure out. I used to work at a furniture factory running an Eagle machine, which was a cross cut machine at Ashley Furniture in Ecker, Mississippi. And uh, the whole machine was just constantly spitting lengths of, of you know, um, uh, inch and a half wide pieces off the machine and you'd have to measure them constantly back and forth and you get very appreciative of a tape measure that'll stay on your waist while you can still use it. So I can still use it on my waist and then spin it off if I need to use it onto materials. And then oh, this is a glue rag ring. So if you're doing a glue up and you want to wet a rag, you can keep it in on you right here and wipe your hands off and whatever you need to do, which is actually pretty handy. On this side, I've got three things. First is my six inch ruler. I use this all the time and I recently found that this one is inaccurate. So I've got to find a new one. That sucks. And a marking knife. So this style marking knife, right? This is actually made for me by a friend of mine. Appreciate that, Jeff. This, you don't want to put obviously a pointy marking knife right down in a pocket, you're gonna rip the bottom of the pocket. So I found this, which just happened to be perfect. It's just a plastic tube, plastic square tube, and it fits pretty snug. You know, that's not going anywhere. And I put a blue shop towel on the bottom side, so it doesn't bottom out to the bottom of the plastic. It hits the shop towel. There you go. And then I put an extra ring of tape right here to act as a stop, so or on the top side, act as a stop so it doesn't pull out of the pocket. And this fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly, in this particular pocket. That's kind of a lucky, happy accident. But now that once the blue tape goes beyond the, the seam here, and I can pull this out without worrying about that coming out. I use the marking knife all the time. There's the little things that you may not see on camera, but with woodworking, they are. The only thing that didn't work out as planned, and it's totally my fault, is the square that I chose for this up, up down here. I wanted uh, this particular square, which is a machinist square that has a T on the bottom side. So it's kind of like a very accurate speed square. You can put it right on your material and let it hang. That's really handy when you're uh, when you're uh, when you're using it. That way, it doesn't swing down like this. If you if if that makes any sense, right? I'm doing a horrible job here, but basically. This I wanted right here, and after the, the pocket sized for it, but after having this in my pocket for, I don't know, three or four days, I just realized that it was an error on my part. This particular one is just too heavy. So this one's very similar to it that I have, but it's like a third of the weight. It's a lot lighter, and it fits my pocket perfectly. So uh, that actually worked out quite well. And that's it. I don't, I don't want anything else on my apron that that's... Uh, that's all I need. The most commonly used stuff, it doesn't weigh me down. Everything is exactly where I want it. I can grab my pencil without thinking about it. My tape measure is always right where my right hand is at. My square is always where my left hand is at. As, as soon as it, you have it on for a day or two or maybe a couple hours into a project, everything just starts to click. 
and then you know you're at the table saw and you need to check the blade for square you don't even think about stopping and going to find a square everything is it's just fantastic hopefully you guys can get my excitement through this video but anyway I'm, I'm so pleased with the apron it's not oh is it hot that's another common question uh, it's it's another piece of clothing on you so it's going to warm you up just a little bit there's no way around that um, I got that I got this while I was still was still warm enough here in Mississippi to where the air conditioner was running in my shop and by no means was it ever unbearable it's getting close to winter time now so it's cooling off quite a bit and I'm actually appreciating the extra layer now so um, for whatever that's worth and yeah that's that the quality I think I've abused this quite heavily so far and I would say that the quality is great there's there's rivets everywhere this thing doesn't have any indication of it letting loose anytime soon Anyway, I will have more detailed images or well, more progress images on the website article for this video. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in one, be sure to check out Dragonfly Woodworking and Leather. Um, check out their Instagram feed for a lot of progress pictures on upcoming stuff. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I feel like I'm rambling. That's normally a good time to stop the video. So you guys take care. Have a great day. And I will catch you next time. Nope, not over yet. I'm back. I forgot one thing. So, uh, I also got a hanger from them. There's an option if you wanted to get a hanger or not. That's up to you. But I got this hanger. Which is pretty handy, actually. I keep it... Uh, I used to... I first kept it on my garage door rail. But that was a little high, so I found a spot right here which is pretty convenient for it. So when I'm done with the, done for the day, I can set it up there, and or set my apron up there. But anyway, that's it for real. Uh, be sure to check them out, and toodles. Or see you later. Toodles is, that's just a little weird.